Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Totally free to subscribe and it will make you part of my crafty family here on YouTube. And be sure to ring that little bell notification as well because that will let you know when I post a new video or when I go live. You can also sign up for my free newsletter at my website, corinneblackstone.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a layered SVG using Silhouette Design Studio. Now, I know you think, oh, she said it's a Cricut Design Space tutorial at the beginning. It is. I'm going to show you guys how to use the Silhouette Studio software, make that layered SVG, and then bring it over into your Design Space software to cut. It's super fun and super easy. I hope you guys will learn a lot, but don't hesitate to ask any questions that you have down below in those comments. Also, if there's something you're wanting to learn, anything craft related, please comment down below because I make the tutorials that you guys ask for. So let's get started. I'm so excited to show you guys how to do this. I'm going to show you guys how to make a layered SVG over here in the Silhouette Studio. Now I have a business edition and in order to use Silhouette Studio and cut with your Cricut, you will need to have the business edition. I will link that down below for you guys. The good thing is with this, it is a one-time fee um, and you get it for the life of the program, which is awesome. So you don't have to pay like for a monthly fee or anything like that. It's just a one-time fee. Updates are optional on this. So there's a lot of really cool stuff with this business edition. But what I like is that I can design in here and then take it over to my Cricut Design Space to cut. The nice thing about this is you're not having to purchase a whole other machine if you don't have space for a silhouette or you don't want to actually get a silhouette. This is a great way to use their superior software with your Cricut machine. So what we'll do first is we're going to actually just use a Disney coloring page. So I can show you guys how to do this in the Silhouette Studio. It's really fun, pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we'll start with a new screen here. What I'm going to do is click File. And then I'm going to open and I want to go into my Disney folder and I want to find the Marie that we're going to make, which is this one. Now you can see that she does not have a transparent background. She's just a solid clip art image of a black and white outline. What we'll need to do is over here on the right hand side, find the icon. It is five down from the top. It, I call it a toast. I don't actually know what it's supposed to look like, but I think it looks like a piece of toast. So click on that. That is going to be your trace panel. Now the nice thing with Silhouette Studio is if you hover over the buttons, it tells you what they're called. So this right here is the trace panel. Now what you'll do is right here where it says select trace area, click on that and you'll get this little plus, this little crosshair. What you're going to do is draw a box covering the entire Marie. It doesn't matter necessarily how far out you are from her, but you do want to make sure that her entire image is within this traced area. Once you've selected your trace area, I'm going to actually do this in two steps because I found it a little bit easier to do it this way. So down here at the bottom, you have trace style, you have trace, trace outer edge or trace and detach. So what I'm going to do is trace the outer edge. We're going to use that for our black background. I just found this a little bit easier. So you'll see now that you have this red outline. That's going to be our background. So before I do anything else, because I just found this a lot easier for my sanity, is I'm going to take the little color palette. It's the fill palette, three down from the top. Click on that and choose black, and then that will fill that in black. That's going to be our black solid background to build the Marie on top of. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side and put her right back on to our mat here. Go back to your trace panel, select trace area, and you're going to do the same thing where you're going to draw that box just around Marie. Now we're going to select trace down here, which is the top one. And you can move the Marie off of the mat, the original one that you have, this solid one. Now you can see that she's an outline with a bunch of different pieces. But you can't just like move the pieces or do the traditional contour like you're used to in Cricut Design Space. But I find this to be a little bit easier once you get used to doing it. So I'm going to try to go pretty slow for you guys to help you understand how to do this. And once you've done it a couple times, you are going to fly through this so quickly. 
So what you'll do is on top of the Marie, right click and towards the bottom, you'll see where it says release compound path. Click on that and what that does is it makes each piece an individual piece. Do you see how it's got all these little boxes? That makes like the tail a separate piece, one of her legs. So each part that is outlined is a separate piece. You can go ahead and click anywhere on your screen to deselect the entire design. I'm gonna start with the little eyeball pieces here and you'll see how your cursor changes from like a little arrow to the finger. When it's the finger, you can select the item. So I'm gonna select the eyeball and then I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard to select her other eye piece. And I'm gonna just make these like a light gray once I have the two pieces that I'm going to make light gray, I'm going to right click and click on the word group. That's just like group in Cricut Design Space. It's going to hold them together so you can move them. I like to move them over to the black one just so that it's a little bit easier to see everything that I'm doing and make sure I get all the pieces that I need to get. So let's move on and do the pink. So again, I'm going to select all the parts that I want pink and I'm going to hold shift while doing this so that I can select each part and just select it one time. You could do each individual piece just by clicking on them, but I like to use the shift. It's a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I forgot her nose. So let's say we forget something we're about to click. Just hold shift and click where you want and then click on the spot or whatever color you want it to be. In this case, we're making it light pink. Go ahead and slide that over. I'm gonna slide that over onto the black. Don't worry if it's not lined up perfectly. We'll mess with it in a little bit. The next thing that we're going to need to do is to select all the pieces that we want to be technically white. I'm going to make them gray so it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing, but we'll cut them on white vinyl if we go to make her. So what I'm going to do is again, hold down shift and select all the parts that I want to make gray. Now I want to make this inside of her muzzle gray and I want to make these pieces on her ear gray. You want to make sure that you select all the pieces that you want gray. So her face, her little like chest fluff, her leg and her foot. And you can see how they have lines that sort of make them their own piece. You want to be very aware of that and keep in mind that you want to make sure that you click all the pieces and you can always go back and add if you need to, if you missed a spot. So it looks like I've got all the pieces that I need. Perfect. But now what we need to do is like in Cricut Design Space when you use slice, because I want the black to show through for her eyebrows, the little spot over her nose, her whiskers, her little chin spot. I want the black to show through because I don't wanna have to layer black on top of everything. So what we're gonna do, and I'll just show you with two pieces right now. It's a little bit easier to show you with just two. I'm gonna select her little eyebrows. Again, the same way, just by holding shift. And then I wanna make sure that her face is selected so this big face piece over again on this right part you're going to find this right down here which is our modify panel it's a little square and a circle click on that and it's going to open up the modify panel what you want to do is select the word subtract all and what that's going to do is it's like using slice in Cricut design space so we're going to do that for all the different parts that are on her face because we want them to slice out and not actually be part of her face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and select and make sure I have everything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and again, click subtract. So once we're pretty happy with everything that's there, we make sure that it's all subtracted. And if you're not sure that you got them all, just take the black and move it behind it just to double check. It looks really, really good, so I am good with that. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna get rid of this red line. We don't need it, it's extra, and we can just delete it. The reason we delete that red is because it will show up as a cut line in Cricut Design Space, and we don't need it because we made this black background. Again, I just do that because for me it's easier, but if you don't wanna make this black background and you wanna use that red line, you absolutely can. Here is our little Marie. Now for my own sanity, I am gonna go ahead and group all of the gray together. So you can just draw a square around it and right click and click group. So now that you have subtracted and made sure that you got all the spots, what you're gonna see is you're gonna have these little red pieces that are still there. We wanna remove those and get rid of them because 
Cricut will read those as red lines, and I totally didn't want to move her little face. If you accidentally grab something and move it, that's okay, don't worry. But what you want to do is select each of those pieces and just click delete. It's not really going to look like it gets rid of anything other than your red line might be just a little bit lighter, but you do want to get rid of those because if you don't, Cricut Design Space will read those as cut lines and that can be kind of a pain. Now that we have all of her pieces and parts, I'm going to go ahead and delete the big square and I'll just put her back together really quick. It doesn't matter if it's lined up perfectly when you do this other than for your aesthetic, especially I'm going to go ahead and move her little eyeballs back. Now you see how they're behind the gray. Just like in Cricut Design Space, you can move these up a layer if you want to. Um, all you have to do on this is right click where your eyeballs are and all you have to do is see up here, you've got bring to front, bring forward, send to back, just like you do in Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring those to front. And then I'm just using the arrows on my keyboard to move those a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab all my pink pieces. And again, just like in Design Space, you can just draw a big square around them and move them all together. Now again, I'm gonna probably need to do a little adjustment with my keyboard, because it does give you a little bit more of a precise adjustment than with your mouse. So you can resize her now if you'd like by just selecting the whole thing and size her down if you'd like to. It doesn't matter, you can leave her big, because we'll resize her in Cricut Design Space to cut her out. But this is what she looks like, she is good to go. So what I'm gonna do is click File. And remember, you have to have the um, right edition for Silhouette Studio. To do this, I'll link all the information for Silhouette Studio editions down below for you guys. But what we're going to do is click Save to Hard Drive. And I'm just going to save her as Marie Final, so that way I know which one she is. And I want to make sure down here, my under Save As type, I want to save it as an SVG. Click OK. And then we'll go over to Cricut Design Space so I can show you guys how to load this. Over here in Cricut Design Space, you're going to click Upload, Upload Image, and then Browse. You'll find wherever you saved her. I saved her in my Disney folder and I saved her as Marie Final. So here she is. And she is right here as our SVG cut image. All you have to do now is just click Upload. And you're gonna select your uploaded image. Now you can see I did test it before I did this. Um, I'm still learning Silhouette software, but this is one of the things that I've learned and I'm really excited to teach you. So once you've selected the one that you want, you can just click Insert Images. Now it might take a second to load in because Cricut Design Space sometimes doesn't love all these big pieces. Now I'll size her down a little bit so we can see her all on one page here, just make it a little easier. There she is, all in her glory. But one thing I will note, and I just haven't quite learned how to do it yet, and I will learn, and I promise I'll tell you guys when I figure it out, but you can see that if we go to move anything on her, like she's grouped now, but if you click ungroup, you're going to end up with a bunch of different like pieces because for some reason this stayed grouped and I'm still not sure why, but her gray parts didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and select all of her gray pieces and because I'm never going to change her out from being this gray cat that she is and let me tell you how much this is driving me nuts that Cricut is doing this every time you click a piece it dra drags you back up to the top so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to weld all my gray pieces together to make it just one layer in my Cricut design space otherwise it's like 11 layers and it's super frustrating and annoying but you can see now instead of having a ton of lines we just have one line for that and I'll do the same thing with the pink I'll go ahead and select all the pink and also weld that together and I do think I missed one piece of pink I did so if you miss, miss a little piece it's okay just hold shift and select both pieces in your um, layers tab and just click weld again now I wanna make sure that I do also weld the eyeballs together. You can attach them as well, but we'll just attach them so I can show you. The reason I welded these was just to reduce the amount of lines and information that Cricut Design Space was dealing with. But what I'm gonna do is just click Make It, and you'll see that you have all of your pieces parts all set up, ready to cut. There's her gray body, which we'll cut, we'd cut in white. We have her eyes, which again, you can cut in any color that you want. We could cut white, green, whatever. And then this is the background that you're going to build her on and then her pink parts. So it's simple as that to move any kind of an SVG that you want to design in 
Silhouette Studio to Cricut Design Space. It's just a little bit easier and cleaner than using contour and all of that in Cricut Design Space, but it's just another way to do it. If you guys have other things that you wanna learn how to do with Silhouette Studio, please let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer anything that you have and I am happy to do my research and to learn all the things that you guys wanna know how to do over here in the Silhouette Studio. I hope you guys had so much fun learning a new Silhouette Studio skill. Have a great day and happy crafting.